Greetings. It's a good pleasure for, for us to be part of your event. I'd like to congratulate you and your team for this um, very strategic initiative considering the challenges we are facing now as uh, humankind. Um, you know, we've been uh, talking for so many years now on how to, to become more effective and um, to work on sustainable development in a manner that we uh, leave no one behind. Huh? If we consider the, the SDG agenda, the 2030 agenda, it really makes us to rethink the modus operandi, how we as uh, cooperators, how we can work together, how we can jointly uh, work in a manner that our efforts can uh, be uh, very concrete, how our efforts can uh, become more uh, sustainable, more effective to the uh, population we, we serve. Now, the, the challenges of this uh, pandemic uh, really make us to rethink the sustainable development. Uh, it makes us, you know, uh, when it comes to, to Africa, uh, in my point of view, we have all the resources available. We have the resources available. We have as well, uh, we know how to do uh, international cooperation. We know how to do the South-South cooperation, it's true. The tools are already, I must say, invented. We are not inventing from scratch. But to me, the mentality is something that we should work on more and more. And now we have a, a, a good and strategic context to really uh, you know, analyze and evaluate how we are being uh, strategic or not on our um, activities on our actions, on our programs and projects. Uh, it's true that we have the uh, generation of uh, pilot projects. We will continue doing pilot projects, projects because they are very important and strategic. They are uh, a strategy to researchers, mobilization, etc. But uh, now it's, uh, you know, it's the time for us to think about the, the mentalities of the cooperators, uh, the mentality on, of how the, the politicians and uh, the, you know, the stakeholders at different levels uh, can do to, uh, to, can cooperate in order to become more and more strategic and to, you know, to, to achieve finally the goals we uh, all uh, as uh, international community we, we set up. Uh, now, when it comes to uh, youth, when it comes to, to women and children, etc., especially in Africa and in, the, in developing countries as a, as a whole, this population will continue to be, uh, you know, uh, targets that we should uh, take care of. Well, when I say take care, I'm not, you know, advocating for, for charity, because normally charity, we have NGOs, we have specific uh, church, for example, etc. This is uh, their, their business, but when it comes to public policies, when it, co when it comes to international cooperation, we should, in my point of view, uh, rethink the modus operandi. You no, know? we should be more strategic. There are a lot of local activities, local projects and programs are going on. Now it's time for us to strategically think as a whole. Uh, it's time for, for us, as we say in public diplomacy, now is the ripe moment to really make the change. If we are interested, if we take it as a priority to, to, to make the change, uh, now, it's, uh, now it's really the time. I think the leadership is there. The, the tools 
are there. We are not inventing nothing from zero. Now it's time to, you know, to evaluate what we have achieved so far and how we can, from this achievements, how we can be creative. Huh? Uh, it's time to be more and more creative, you know, in order not to leave no one behind as uh, uh, the 2030 agenda uh, says. Uh, uh, girls and women, they are, uh, you know, uh, a target, they are um, uh, a population that we should more and more make at the center of our policies, at the center of the policies. Uh, otherwise, we, we risk to, you know, to not have all these gains, all these achievements we, we, we had as, uh, you know, humankind, I must say, because now I think it's, it's the moment to talk as humankind, you know, as humanity, because this, this pandemic really makes us to, 